Welcome to two examples of solving a proportion. A proportion is formed when we set two fractions or ratios equal to each other. Notice how in these two proportions, there's one unknown value represented by the variable x. And there are several methods that we can use to solve a proportion, but for these two examples, we'll be using the method of clearing the fractions from the equations in order to solve the proportions. And clearing fractions is a common method for solving equations that contain fractions. So to solve a proportion by clearing fractions, step one will multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, which would be the least common multiple of the denominators. If we're not able to find the least common denominator though, we can multiply both sides of the equation by any common denominator. And then step two, we wanna solve the resulting equation. So looking at our first proportion, notice how we have denominator of 15 and a denominator of x. Because 15 and x don't share any common factors other than one, the least common multiple of 15 and x, which will be the least common denominator, would be the product of 15 and x, and 15 times x is equal to 15x. So to clear the fractions from our proportion, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 15x. So we begin with 3 fifteenths, which shows how we could simplify to 1 fifth, but we'll leave it in this form, equals 6 over x. And now we multiply both sides of the equation by 15x, or if we want 15x over 1, since we have fractions, and we do the same on the right. Now before multiplying, we'll simplify. Notice here, 15 divided by 15 simplifies to 1, so we just have x times 3, or 3x. On the right side, notice how we have x divided by x, which simplifies to 1 over 1. And therefore, this product is just 15 times 6, which is equal to 90. And now to solve the resulting equation for x, we divide both sides by 3. And our solution is x equals 90 divided by 3, which equals 30. Let's take a look at our second example. Notice how we have a denominator of x and a denominator of 27. And because x and 27 don't have any common factors other than 1, the least common multiple of x and 27, which will be the least common denominator, would be x times 27, or 27x. So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 27x. So we have 4 over x equals, notice here, 9 27 does simplify to 1 third. So again, we could simplify this, but let's go ahead and leave it in this form. So we have 9 over 27. Again, we're multiplying both sides of the equation by 27x, or 27x over 1. So simplifying before multiplying, x divided by x simplifies to 1 over 1. So we have 27 times 4 over 1, which would be 108 over 1, or just 108, equals, on the right, notice how we have a common factor of 27. 27 divided by 27 simplifies to 1. And therefore, we just have x times 9, which equals 9x. Solving this equation for x, we divide both sides by 9. Simplifying, we have 1x or x equals 108 divided by 9 is equal to 12. So our solution is x equals 12. I hope you found this helpful.